What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back again with my two quart Elite Bistro pressure cooker. And tonight, I'm gonna make pressure cooker pulled chicken. So this is gonna be a North Carolina style slash Doug style um, pulled chicken sandwich. Okay, I just washed my um, boneless chicken thighs and guys, if you're making pulled chicken, this is the best to me to use, the cheapest method and the best method to use because it makes it even more easier to shred apart um, and it's just easier to use and it costs really nothing. But anyway, the reason why I'm doing this, I think it was in my kitchen gadgets group or my air fryer group, I can't remember which one, but someone posted, um, you know, on, face, on the Facebook group, they said, um, what's the fat what's the easiest way or the best way no i think something like the easiest way to make pulled chicken and let's say out of 10 answers let's say seven of them was like a slow cooker and i was like what i'm like cancel christmas that answer is wrong it's a pressure cooker and i'm gonna show y'all right now now what's great about this, you can season it however you want because you can, if it's pulled, you can also add stuff when it's done anyway. So you don't have to go crazy right now, but. So that was black pepper. I'm gonna add some liquid smoke to mine. Since we're doing it North Carolina, Greensboro style, gotta represent. Got to throw some duck style in there and put some ginger in there. Put some paprika in there. Again, that's for coloring. I'm just going to mix that up because I'm just going to go ahead and cheat and throw one of these cubes in there. So, so all I'm going to do is drop this cube in. Now, if I wasn't doing the cube, I would put like maybe some soy sauce in there, onion powder, um, some garlic, um, yeah, stuff like that. All right, so that's what we're looking like in there. And also, my bad guys, I forgot to add my allspice, just a splash of it. Um, that completes phase one. Ginger and allspice com completes phase one of Doug style. And there's three phases. <laughs> Next, I'm going to poke my chest out and put some Heinz 57. And drizzle some on the top. Just for some added flavoring. And finally, I'm going to pour some chicken broth in there. I can get you to see that. Yeah, just pour that in there. Just enough to kind of, kind of cover it. Yeah, that's enough. Not too much. All right, I'm just gonna make sure that they're down enough. Yep, it's pretty much down. All right, smelling good. All right, that's simple, folks. So now all I'm going to do is um. Put it to 20 minutes. That's it. 20 minutes. Bam. Just sit back, y'all, and enjoy the ride. It's going to be good. I'm going to put this in my digital perfect cooker. All right, guys. While that's going, I'm going to chop up this onion for a little later. Hear that, y'all? It's coming to pressure. See you in 20 minutes. I'm gonna saute these after it's done. Um, that complete phase two of Doug style. Okay, second wave of Doug style. You heard that, guys? Twenty minutes are up. I'm gonna let out the steam. 
Alright guys, so this is what it looks like after 20 minutes. I'm going to transfer it to a plate just to show you how fall off the, well, it's not fall off the bone, but how easy it is to shred after 20 minutes. Alright, there we have it. Let's see, I'm just going to take it apart. This is melting away. I could just do it like this, actually. Let me zoom in a little better. And actually, I don't like mine that pulled. Like, I don't like it like shredded, like shredded paper or something. I like, I like it intact, just you know, enough. I don't like mine all finely uh, all cut up like this is fine and actually I have another piece to cut up oh, I'm sorry guys another piece that was just the first piece the second piece is falling off in the pot so it's coming up it's already falling off so the answer what is quicker obviously it's the um, pressure cooker now this is a two quart, but this the same difference if it was a six quart, eight quart, ten quart, fourteen quart. Doesn't matter. It's the same difference. All right, so all right, guys. So I transferred it to a bowl. I got some um, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I'm gonna squirt some on there and mix it around. Alright, that's what it's looking like. Alright, and this is all the juice from um, the pressure cooker. <clears throat> I'm going to save that. I'm going to put some back in my inner pot and I'm going to save the rest as a gravy. Actually, before I put any of the juice back in my inner pot, I'm just going to put some olive oil in there. And then... Um, Go into browning mode in the pressure cooker. And while the inner pot is going, I'm giving the barbecue sauce to kind of just marinate into the chicken. Yep, so we're in saute mode, about to saute this these onions. AJ, you want to help me out doing that? Sure. Alright, I just dumped my onions in. Go ahead and mix it up, AJ. Okay. Now. I got pop. You got pop? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you live and you learn, son. Put the cover on and I'll let that sit for about five minutes. See it changing color a little bit? Mm -hmm. Oh! Alright guys, so pretty much sauteed to my liking. And what I'm gonna do now, just for extra credit, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the gravy in there. Just a tad bit. Get that going. Now I'm expecting it to cook. Good. Alright guys, we're almost at the finish line with this. It's smelling yummy, looking good. That's how I like it. Brownies. Brown, yeah. That's how you can tell it's done. Mm -hmm. Went from white to brown, son. Uh-uh, green and white to brown. That wasn't green, actually. It was white. Actually, well, you don't, well, yeah, I guess it was kind of green, the onion. Yeah, you're right. Uh-uh. Yeah. My bad, you're right. And I'm going All right, yum, yum, yum. Now I'm gonna pour some more gravy back in there, just a little bit. 
right like that. I'm going to cut up one of these and pour the juice in there, pour some juice in there for some extra flavor. Alright, pour some of this juice in there. I don't have much, but... Alright, I'm just gonna throw that in there. Now I'm going to dump the chicken in there. And then I'm going to do a saute mode, mix all of that together, and then we're almost done. Alright guys, I got saute mode going like I said, so final, I'm just going to mix all of this together. Alright, I added a little more barbecue sauce to it and I think we are done. We're ready to build my sandwich. Oh yeah. Alright, got my bun. I'm about to throw it in a toast oven real quick. Just added a slice of cheese and when that melts, we'll be ready to begin. All right, guys, let's begin. Put a little garlic powder on there, both sides. Go ahead and add my onions. Gonna add my baby back ribs. We're getting there, guys. Why not? Just a little bit more. You can never get enough. Wouldn't be North Carolina without no coleslaw. That's for sure. Finally, I'm going to add some mayo to the other side. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. All right, so there we have it. See it, Ashton? Yes. Now that's a sandwich right there. Give them a closer look. It's huge. I call it the, I don't know what I call it, but it's the North Carolina pulled Carolina chicken is. sandwich. It's a pulled chicken sandwich, son. I don't think you ever had this before. But anyway, you first. I'm gonna take a bite. All right, I'm about to go in, y'all. Don't try this at home, some of y'all. Hmm. Man, that's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me get old ass, and I'm gonna make you all of these. Well guys, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. Well, I'll give y'all some of these beans. Some of y'all don't know nothing about these country beans. But ask somebody. How first? Mmm. Man, this is good. Well, I'm done here. So bottom line, you can do pulled chicken in 20 minutes in a pressure cooker. You can do it from frozen in 25 minutes. So to answer the question in my Facebook Kitchen Gadget group, the correct answer is pressure cooker. Of course, I just went overboard for y'all if I was doing it myself. And actually, now I'm thinking about it, I probably should have sauteed the onions first. But that's neither here nor there. I'm, I'm no pro. I just like cooking and filming. That's just what I do. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for looking at my video. Also, I'm going to put a link into four, I mean, four 
my pressure cooker group in the description it's called pressure cooking with Doug if you have any type of pressure cooker from a 2 quart to 14 quart please join share your recipes we share our best practices and so forth if there's a new pressure cooker coming out we get it that's just how we roll it's cooking with Doug we out